the search for extraterrestrial life has long fascinated humanity. And one of the most compelling questions that continues to captivate scientists and the public alike is this. What are the chances that another civilization, potentially a twin, of ours is transmitting radio signals at the exact moment we are listening? As space exploration advances, taking us to the moon, Mars, and beyond. One of the most exciting developments in recent years has been the study of exoplanets' planets that orbit stars outside our solar system. These distant worlds offer glimpses into a staggering variety of cosmic environments. Among them, Proxima b has especially captured the attention of astronomers worldwide. Due to its close proximity to Earth, situated just over four light years away, this Earth-sized planet orbits Proxima Centauri, the closest star to our Sun. It's making it a prime candidate in the ongoing search for signs of alien life. For years, scientists have speculated about Proxima b's potential habitability. It lies within the habitable zone of its parent star, a region often referred to as the Goldilocks zone, where temperatures might be just right to allow the presence of liquid water, a critical ingredient for life as we know it. However, studying Proxima b presents significant challenges. Despite being relatively close in cosmic terms, its distance and the intense glare of its host star, Proxima Centauri, small yet volatile red dwarf, make it difficult to observe. Prior to recent advancements, ground-based telescopes provided only blurry and incomplete information about the planet. This changed dramatically with the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, in December 2021. As the most advanced space observatory ever constructed, JWST has revolutionized the way we explore the universe. Using infrared technology, it can peer through cosmic dust and capture unprecedented details of distant celestial bodies. Its massive 6.5-meter primary mirror and strategic position at the second Lagrange point L2, approximately 1.5 million km from Earth, enable it to operate without atmospheric interference. In 2023, JWST achieved a historic milestone by producing the clearest image of Proxima b ever captured. For the first time, astronomers were able to observe detailed surface features and collect atmospheric data that had previously been out of reach. Employing sophisticated instruments such as the near-infrared camera, anti-arcum, and the mid-infrared. Instrument MIRI JWST detected traces of water vapor, carbon dioxide, and methane in Proxima b's atmosphere. These molecules are considered potential biosignatures chemical markers that might suggest the presence of life. While these findings are not definitive proof, they have reignited scientific and public excitement about the planet's potential. Habitability. The presence of these gases hints at an atmosphere capable of supporting some form of life, although significant uncertainties remain. Chief among these is the violent nature of Proxima Centauri, which is known to emit powerful, stellar flares that could strip away a planet's atmosphere, rendering it uninhabitable. Determining whether Proxima b possesses a strong magnetic field, or a thick enough atmosphere to shield itself from such radiation is now a primary focus of ongoing research. Beyond its insights into Proxima b, JWST's technological capabilities have transformed astronomy itself. Unlike earlier telescopes, JWST utilizes coronography, a technique that blocks the overwhelming light from stars. It's allowing astronomers to isolate the faint glow of orbiting exoplanets. This enables more detailed spectral analysis, which in turn reveals the atmospheric composition and potential climate conditions of these distant worlds. For Proxima b, this means scientists can now map cloud patterns, temperature variations, and even detect signs of seasonal change, significantly deepening our understanding of the planet's environment. Proxima b is just one of many exoplanets currently under investigation. Other intriguing candidates, such as TRAPPIST-1, E, and Kepler-4, 5 to B, which also lie within their respective habitable zones, are being studied closely. Each new discovery adds a piece to the complex puzzle of how common Earth-like conditions might be throughout the universe. Yet Proxima b stands out because of its proximity to Earth, it's making it one of the most viable targets for future interstellar missions. One such initiative, Breakthrough Starshot, proposes to send miniature light-propelled probes to the Alpha Centauri system. This ambitious project 
if successful, could allow us to study Proxima B up close within the span of a few decades. Search for life on Proxima B extends beyond analyzing atmospheric gases. Scientists are also investigating whether the planet is geologically active. A molten core capable of driving plate tectonics would be essential in maintaining a stable climate, recycling, nutrients, and creating conditions favorable to life. JWST's ability to detect volcanic gases and surface minerals would offer crucial insights into the planet's internal structure. Meanwhile, Powerful radio telescopes like the Square Kilometer Array scanning the skies for Technosignatures radio signals that could indicate intelligent extraterrestrial civilizations. Despite the excitement, scientists urge caution when interpreting these findings. False positives are a constant possibility, especially when analyzing atmospheric data. Methane, for instance, while often associated with biological activity on Earth, can also be generated through non-biological processes, such as volcanic eruptions. To confirm the existence of life, researchers will need multiple lines of evidence, including detection of an active oxygen cycle or complex organic molecules. Future missions, including NASA's upcoming Habitable Worlds Observatory, promise to build upon JWST's foundation by offering sharper imaging and even more precise atmospheric analysis. Studying Proxima B also raises profound philosophical and ethical questions. If life is discovered just four light years away, it could suggest that the universe is teeming with biological activity. Conversely, if Proxima B turns out to be lifeless despite seemingly favorable conditions, it might imply that Earth is a rare exception in an otherwise barren cosmos. Either outcome carries enormous implications for our understanding of life's prevalence and resilience across the universe. The knowledge gained from Proxima B is also invaluable for Earth science. By comparing other planetary atmospheres to our own, scientists can better understand the long-term effects of climate change and refine predictive models to safeguard Earth's environment. JWST's discoveries surrounding Proxima B are inspiring a global resurgence in interest in space science. Documentaries, books, and educational programs about exoplanets are capturing public imagination and encouraging young people to pursue careers. In astronomy and astrophysics, the tantalizing prospect that we may one day send probes or even human explorers to Proxima B has never felt more tangible. Emerging propulsion technologies such as light sails and nuclear fusion are being researched as possible methods. To make interstellar travel within a human lifetime feasible, these breakthroughs are gradually transforming the dream of interstellar. Exploration into a reachable goal. As international cooperation grows, space agencies such as NASA and the European Space Agency, ESA, along with private aerospace companies, are actively discussing collaborative missions that could dramatically accelerate our progress toward reaching. Proxima B. However, with these technological advancements come significant ethical responsibilities. Should we discover microbial or complex life on Proxima B? How should we engage with it? What are our obligations as intelligent stewards of our own planet and as potential neighbors in a galactic community? Careful thought and international consensus. As we move forward, the journey of exploration is far from over. Every new discovery about Proxima B brings yes. closer to understanding not only whether we are alone, but also how life might emerge and evolve under different cosmic conditions. The James Webb Space Telescope has ushered in a new era of planetary science. Future telescopes and missions will undoubtedly build upon its legacy. Using more refined tools and expanding the search for habitable worlds across the galaxy, whether or not life exists on Proxima B, its study is a monumental step forward in humanity's quest to comprehend our place in the universe. With each passing year and each new insight, we edge closer to answering the age-old question that has lingered in the minds of philosophers, scientists, and dreamers alike. Are we truly alone in the cosmos? As the James Webb Space Telescope continues to observe the distant worlds around us, Proxima B remains the focal point of one of the most profound investigations in scientific history. With every new spectral reading and infrared image, the data, 
accumulates, offering tantalizing clues about the planet's atmosphere, its potential climate, and even the possibility of surface liquid water. Yet, despite its promise, Proxima B is also a puzzle of extremes caught. In a cosmic dance with a volatile star, orbiting dangerously close, yet seemingly harboring conditions not entirely inhospitable. This paradox makes it one of the most intriguing exoplanets known to science. The planet orbits Proxima Centauri at a distance of about 0.05 astronomical units, roughly 1 20th the distance between Earth and the Sun. While that might seem too close, for comfort, Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf, significantly smaller and cooler than our Sun. This proximity places Proxima B squarely in the so-called habitable zone. However, red dwarfs like Proxima Centauri have a reputation for being highly active. Their frequent and intense stellar flares can bombard a nearby planet with ultraviolet and X-ray radiation, potentially stripping away atmospheres and sterilizing surfaces. This has led some scientists to question whether a world like Proxima B could retain a stable climate or any atmosphere at all. Recent data from JWST has started to address that concern. Spectroscopic analysis shows signs of a persistent atmosphere, though its composition is still being debated. Some models suggest a thick carbon dioxide layer similar to Venus, which could help trap heat and maintain surface temperatures. Other models entertain the possibility of an Earth-like mix of nitrogen and oxygen, protected by a global magnetic field that shields the planet from stellar radiation. If Proxima b has a molten iron core similar to Earth's, such a field might be possible. Magnetic field generation, however, depends on complex factors including planetary rotation, core dynamics, and age details that remain elusive without insight. Measurements One fascinating twist in Proxima b's potential for habitability involves tidal locking. Because it orbits so close to its star, it's likely that Proxima b is tightly locked with one hemisphere in perpetual daylight and the other in permanent darkness. While this may sound catastrophic for life, Climate models suggest that heat could still be distributed across the planet via a thick atmosphere or ocean currents, resulting in a habitable terminator zone, the twilight region between light and dark in this zone temperatures might be moderate enough to sustain water and possibly life. This scenario has prompted a surge of interest in developing more. Advanced planetary climate models tailored specifically to tidally locked exoplanets. Scientists are exploring how wind patterns cloud formation, and greenhouse effects could affect Proxima b's potential biosphere. Some even speculate about alien life that might evolve uniquely within these twilight regions where conditions remain. Stable over geological timescales. While JWST has made remarkable strides in capturing indirect data about Proxima b, true confirmation of life will likely require a close-up mission. That's where Breakthrough Starshot comes in a bold initiative funded by the Breakthrough Initiatives Program, supported by investors including Yuri Milner and the late Stephen Hawking. The idea is revolutionary. Launch thousands of microscale spacecraft, each no larger than a smartphone, into space at a fraction of light speed, powered by Earth-based lasers that propel lightweight sails. These interstellar probes could potentially reach the Proxima Centauri system in just 20 years challenges are immense. At 20% the speed of light, the tiny spacecraft would have no braking mechanism, making flybys the only viable option. Their ability to transmit data back to Earth across 4.2 light years is another technological hurdle. Nevertheless, the promise is too great to ignore. Even grainy images of Proxima B's surface are real-time. Atmospheric readings could settle the question of whether life exists beyond Earth. This push to reach another star system is also influencing Earth-based observatories. The upcoming extremely large telescope ELT in Chile, scheduled for completion later this decade, will have the resolving power to directly image rocky exoplanets like Proxima b its instruments. Will complement JWST by scanning for atmospheric biomarkers such as ozone, nitrous oxide, and water vapor, while also searching for signs of seasonal variation, which could indicate biological processes at work. As Proxima b continues to reveal its secrets, attention is also turning toward the 
broader implications of discovering life so close to home? If microbial or even intelligent life is found just for light years away, it would challenge the rare earth hypothesis, the idea that complex life is incredibly uncommon. It would imply that life not only arises easily, but may be ubiquitous, thriving wherever conditions allow. That discovery would have seismic effects on fields ranging from biology and theology to philosophy and international law. How would governments and institutions respond? Would religious doctrines evolve to include the possibility of alien creation? Would nations race to claim exoplanets just as they once did new continents? Or would a more cooperative model emerge, driven by the realization that we are not alone and that our place in the universe is shared? The United Nations Office for Outer Space Fairs has already begun preliminary discussions around planetary protection protocols and ethical exploration. The notion of planetary rights is slowly entering academic discourse. What obligations? Do we have toward alien ecosystems, particularly those without intelligence but still biologically active? Should we apply a version of the Prime Directive, popularized by Star Trek, to prevent interference with nascent life? Even if life is not? Found Proxima B will dot dot dot.